Alright, hey guys, it's CVAC Zero doing another RD Taylor group stage cast. It's Michelle Obama's arms versus Hang and Bang. Are both of the teams I do have a couple friends with, or I'm friends with some of the players. Um, I think I believe both teams are actually quite good. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just a group stage match. Uh, things are become. I, I actually don't know what the group standings are for this group. I, know, I think they're EST, though I'm not positive. But anyway, shout out to Zuron. Uh, he is the other caster in the other casting slot. He'll probably be post something a bit quicker than I will. I believe he does Twitch stream. I kind of just do a local recording. Uh, you, then I upload it to YouTube. Uh, sorry, excuse me. I just had my dinner. But anyways, I'll go ahead and jump into the draft. Michelle Obama arm. Michelle Obama's arms are MOA. Are picking up the lone joint and vengeful spirit. Uh, not really conventional picks. Uh, first pick anymore, uh, especially in the new meta. Our lone droid, of course, is still that powerful offlane hero, but because of the armlet nerf, uh, just uh, about a couple months ago, he's not seen. He's not seen that often anymore. Still, <clears throat> still, he is a great pusher. Uh, Michelle Obama's arms. I believe I've seen them dra the do this draft before. I actually don't remember. They pick. I I vaguely remember the LD Vengeful Spirit pickup. Uh, they do like the. Well, it seems like they like to do a or a strap. Maybe possibly a push strat. Uh, they could look to combo with this Venge Vengeance Aura. For Hanging Bane, they pick up the Life Stealer and Bane. Uh, maybe the Bane is possibly a block pick to keep uh, Michelle Obama's arms from picking up the Bane themselves. Uh, if they had the Bane, this is quite a dangerous uh, roaming lineup if they wanted to. Uh, Bane with the Life Stealer, they could possibly look to go an aggressive try lane. Of course, the Sleep uh, it, plus one, you know, a Jakiro could be a Coddle. Uh, or or any other setups done like Leshtrak and uh, Lena is, is quite good. And I was about to say, OD was still available in the pool. <clears throat> Michelle Obama's arm actually banned out the Razor, and I think that should have given... <clears throat> yeah, so they they banned out the Razor, and that gives them <clears throat> the chance to pick up the OD. OD, of course, is a brilliant uh, mid mid hero. The only thing is, uh, he he just can't gank very well. Uh, the, he does set up a, a gank pretty easily if you if you send two or uh, one or two of supports to the main lane. Uh, you can astro in prison and you know possibly help a Rubik get a little bit closer, get that lift off, and possibly get that kill. Though he just doesn't contribute much early game. Uh, he just doesn't do too much, especially if he doesn't get the levels, uh, doesn't doesn't get the farm. His sanity eclipse probably will just be kittens uh, because it does rely on the amount of int uh, he has. So for Hang and Bane, a couple of options. I mean, I, like I said, they can always combo with combo up with a Bane. Uh, it'll be interesting. Like, who do they pick up to counter the OD? Uh, one thing that I have seen and uh, I actually do myself is pick up the Viper to try to lane against OD. Um, Lone Droids actually doesn't do doesn't do too badly against OD, but uh, Michelle Obama's arms uh, picks him up instead. Uh, they could go with the Kunkka. Uh, I've seen Kaiapi run Kunkka against OD and other teams. In fact, uh, do it. It's it's a very strong. I don't know if it's a counter, but it, it's definitely very strong. Ooh, Nyx Assassin. I was about to go over him, but Nyx Assassin. Uh, I would like to see a Nyx Assassin mid. He doesn't exactly win the lane, uh, but he doesn't get stomped. I mean, the mana burn at level one for Nyx Assassin it does help him. Uh, at least help him almost break even with the O. Okay, maybe not break even with OD. That that's the wrong thing. But get a lot of harass. Uh, and of course, when he gets level six, he's a brilliant ganker, one of the best gankers, in my opinion, in the game. Uh, it causes supports like the Vengeful Spirit plus one uh, to just have to get sentries all over the map. If they don't, uh, they can get easy picking, uh, get easily picked off. And OD is definitely one to get picked off very easily. Um, we'll see if he's trigger happy with that astral imprisonment. Uh, you know, you can get the vendetta into a stun, but there's always that delay because uh, Nyx Assassin's Impel does have a pretty long windup, and OD's uh, astral imprisonment is very, very short in, in terms of cast time. And Michelle Obama's arm, and like I said, they will combo with the aura. They will go with the Luna. I think I've seen this draft recently. They, it's kind of a pushing strat. They have a lot of team fight. Uh, they do have the option to go roam early with the Vengeful Spirit. Um, so all they're lacking is just one support. Luna uh, has has kind of dropped off a bit. Um, part of the reason is, you know, people don't really favor that that uh, mid game strike anymore. That mid game push. Um, and sometimes I, you know, whenever Luna's on my team or even on other team, I feel like she's a bit lacking. Her range at three fifty is just not that good. Uh, range heroes and range carries in general just feel like they're a little bit lacking. They're always a bit squishy. 
It's not like an AM who can just blink away or a PL who just creates a mass army and can, you know, split push pretty safely. Uh, Alchemist also just farms faster than Luna. Of course, Luna uh, Moonglaives does give you a bit of chance to farm pretty quickly, uh, but that's not until much later in game. Alchemist can get Grievous Greed up and farm that pretty quickly. And, uh, well, Hanging Bing deciding to go with the Storm Spirit. Uh, I, I'm sure they're respecting the fact that OD can shut down the Storm Spirit on stores where it won't get any farm. Um, but I, I guess they're really hoping uh, that their aggressive tri lane with the Nyx, Bane, and Lifesa will do very well. Um, I'm assuming it's running, they're running aggressive tri lane. Um, they could, actually. Uh, they don't have to. In my opinion, I think it might be better if they don't. Uh, because they, because, uh, Nyx, Sesson, and Bane are very reliant on their level 6. Uh, they, they will need that little bit of farm to get them going. They need the boots, they need... Maybe just a little bit of mana uh, before they go. Otherwise, you know, Bane, I think his starting mana pool is like less than 400 and his spells are like 150 or 200. You can cast maybe one or two and then you're empty. You're, you're mana dry. And so Hang and Bane, what they like, they, they like the offlane hero. Uh, and, you know, Michelle Obama's arm, they do actually ban out the Nature's Prophet. That's not bad. Uh, I, I do agree uh, because you can do like a Nayx Nature's Prophet bomb at any moment. Come out of nowhere, gank a Luna. In a sense, it's almost like a Wisp. Um, hang and bang, they ban out the Rubik. I like that ban uh, because Rubik can steal Fiend's Grip. And Fiend's Grip is very easy to steal because uh, it Fiend's Grip and Black Hole, I mean, you channel it there. You stand there forever. And the Bane, I mean, the Rubik will have to have like uh, a reaction time of a snail to not steal it. <laughs> or he he just gets blown up. So either way, uh, I still believe Rubik is a, is a great ban. Uh, so Michelle Obama's arm, they need that secondary support. Uh, I they could look to go with the aura stack, but who else the, is a support that has an aura? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. They could continue with the pushing strat. Maybe get a Leshrac. Uh, that won't be too bad. Leshrac does have a bit longer range, at least when it comes to harassing. Yeah, Leshrac won't be too bad. Oh, they go with the Spirit Breaker, and this is hmm. This is interesting. The thing I do not like about this is it might be a bit hard for the laning stage uh, because Vigil Spirit and Luna are very, very low in terms of attack the, the attack range. Although Bane is not that great himself. He's only about like 400, 450. And Excessive might... I don't... Again, I'm assuming they might run the aggressive tri lane. It's hard to say. Uh, but I'll go ahead and say that Hang and Bane don't run the aggressive tri lane. Um, the reason is... it. I mean, if you don't have the three supports occupying each other, the two supports occupying each other on both sides, then that leaves Bane and Nyx uh, the, with the ability to go gank. You know, once they hit the level two, OD is basically dead if if uh, they do this correctly. Okay, so they do pick up the Viper. So their lanes, how is it going to be? Uh, it'll be very interesting to see. Uh, if if it's a Viper against a Lone Druid... Oh, 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 I know. It might be the Nyx versus the Lone Druid. Uh, and so they run their aggressive with a possibly uh, maybe Storm, Na Nyx, and uh, Bane. Kaipi has done it with the Farming Storm Spirit. Uh, we'll see if Hanging Bane will do that. And then Viper go mid. And he's a much better matchup against the OD. And this caught me completely by surprise. Um, you know, this is a pretty high level draft if, that, if this is exactly what they do. So I'm just waiting for uh, the last member, uh, the captain actually, of uh, Michelle Obama's arms to pick up the Vengeful Spirit. And uh, they're probably looking to roam, and it is a, a, a wow, that's right, it's Spirit Picker, he does have that aura, so yeah, they are doing that aura stack. But anyways, I'll go ahead and introduce the players for uh, Hang and Bang, it's Neutral Milk Hotel, the captain on the Viper. I'm most likely going to be that mid Viper. On the next, it's going to be Zoex, I think he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with the... Laundry, I think that would be the best idea. Uh, Storm Spirit, I think, was will be part of that trying lane. This is, I believe, the most efficient laning for them. Uh, Storm Spirit is being played by the stand in. Oops. Uh, Mr. Infernal? <laughs> Infernal uh, is on the Bane. And uh, the Light Bull is on the Snicks. On the other side, it's Michelle Obama's arms. It's Zag on the Ventral Spirit, the Captain. Lone Droid is being played by Silk. Uh, he'll be on the offlane, safe lane, offlane. Um... On the OD, it's going to be a Truck Waffle and uh, Shadow M3RC on the Luna and the support Spirit Breakers, uh, Yana, Standard. And so it looks like both sides are trying to run the 
aggressive or possibly uh, Michelle Obama's arms knows that they're going to run aggressive tri lane, so they're going to try to avoid it. Um, either or, or you know, one team thinks one is going to try to run aggressive, and it's actually Storm Spirit going to be an offlane. Uh, this might not be the greatest idea. He's going to have a terrible time. He might actually get first blood. Uh, he's very likely to get first blood. He's walking. His attack is just so slow, and Spirit Breaker can just easily get that charge. To give this uh, Ventral Spirit just a little bit or enough of that time to get that stun. Source Spirit is so slow. 295. Well, I mean, these other two heroes aren't exactly fast either. Luna, however, does have the fastest moves in the game. At 330 moves, he could just easily chase down this Storm Spirit. There's already some blocks on the camper going down. Uh, so in mid lane, this is going to be the Viper versus uh, the OD. I don't know if I think this was. I, I this should be a pretty easy matchup for the Viper. Uh, if what? Gross of skin. Oh, I don't know if I agree with that. I really think he needs to get the poison attack. I get the poison attack. You can already start harassing him. Storm Spirit will have a very hard time. <laughs> Oops, is a monster. All right, yeah. Shout out to Hawk for for telling me that. We'll see if he will completely stomp. <laughs> so let's see who's oh yeah oops is on the storm spirit we'll see i mean it'll be hard for him not to feed and he will be under level though he is already level two uh, that is a bit hard with the aura stacks or well, soon to be aura stacks um they could push lane pretty heavily so od it's against the viper i should pull up the last hits and denies uh so od leading a bit has he actually stolen anything uh no he hasn't stolen any yet well that's his first attempt uh to <clears throat> viper Still not going for the poison attack. I don't know why. I mean, it's such low mana. It might. It's worth it. And oh, they're they're making like they want to go for a gank. And this would be a very easy gank. Viper is squishy. He's only got 530 HP uh, or 600 currently. We'll have more once he levels up, and he will after just one more creep. There's another astral imprisonment. I think he needs to save it for next time around. Oh, it might be too late. Regardless, it doesn't matter. There's a charge. Ventral Spirit comes in with a stun. Oh, dude, just a couple more right clicks. Body blocks just a little bit. They might get it. I think they're definitely going to get it. Viper trying to hide. He's sounding up. He's going to survive. Oh my gosh, he actually survives. Oh, he takes a lot of damage. I think Viper. Oh, he finally picks up the poison attack at level three. And well played for him. Uh, a bit unfortunate about the ganks. This is this might be. Oh, there's a invis room. Spirit Breaker is going to pick it up, but uh, the radiant already saw it. So bot lane, it's going to be Luna versus uh, the Spirit Breaker. <clears throat> uh, they're about even in that case. Uh, Luna will have a bit more in terms of getting farm. He doesn't have to expend as much mana. But no, the dire. They're going back, and this is they're really poor right now. Uh, if their ganks do not happen. Uh, successfully they're going to be a bit under leveled they can't really go top right now because they're already headed bot and i and uh, i don't know what they analyze was they they really need to try to gank the storm though i think storm was well aware that they're coming from he actually doesn't have any wards from um we'll see yes this word does block the camp Let's see <clears throat> so storm so spirit breaker Going to charge him now. Yes, there we go. Just a couple more clicks. Vengeful Spirit is wrapping around in case it doesn't matter. It just needs those two heroes, and it's quite enough. Storm Spirit trying to trade blows with the Luna. I guess he was thinking that um, they would support the Lone Druid, but Lone Druid, uh, that's a hero that we haven't talked about much. He's having a ball of a time, I think. No, he's only 3 and 1. He hasn't really used the bear to do much ganking. Kind of surprised. Where's the Bane? Uh, oh no, they're, they're, they might rotate and try to get that kill. They do have a smoke. They are level to This is what I was talking about. They can easily get kills. There we go. They smoke up. They're going to just wrap around here the easy way. And Viper can't, can't really do much though. I think Bane, it's very easy for them to gank. Oh, okay. This, this is probably going to be first, uh, well, second kill. Here we go. They don't need the sleep. They don't need the sleep. It doesn't matter, I guess. Uh, there's going to be that stun. No, he actually uses the mana burn first. Um, but it doesn't matter. They have enough damage to get the kill. One last disruption to, you know, steal a little bit of mana. There was a possibility he could have disrupted himself, and uh, it, it maybe the supports might have had a TP to TP, but they didn't. <clears throat> Oops, he's going he's gonna to drain a bit of EXP. I, don't, I wonder if the Dyer are aware that he's doing that. They're not. <clears throat> If they did, uh, he could easily die. All of spirit, all spirit breaker has to do charge him right here, hit him, and just like stand right here and just you know, just bash away at him. Pretty easy kill. So Nick Assassin looks like he's roaming around some more. Uh, there's a dust. 
or smoke pickup. Vengeful Spirit. Probably going to look to gank mid once again. Uh, this mid matchup is, uh, unfortunately, they're both extremely squishy. It's a very interesting TP. I think they need to, uh, if they don't smoke for this, this ward's going to spot them out. Yes, this ward will spot them out. They're, they, this, uh, this attempt to gank might be countered. I think it is. Tricker, is he going to charge? He actually can't see him right now. Because that ward doesn't give them vision of that. Oh, that was very... Oh, there is a charge. Uh, I think Bane is definitely dead. Nixus hasn't... Can't do anything. They're just... Oh, nice sleep, actually. A brilliant move by Mr. Inferno. That was almost definitely a kill if that Spirit Breaker had hit on that. A good reaction time. Good play from Mr. Inferno. Not feeding too many kills away. <laughs> So they might make a go on this nice sleep. Is there going to be impel? Where's the impel? No, they're going to get the pull in first, and then they go with the stun. And I think yes, just a couple more right clicks. Uh, it throws a desperation stun. A spirit breaker. It has his charge in one second. Now he has it. Will he go back in? No, he won't. <clears throat> Top lane, meanwhile, it's uh, next versus the lone dread. I think uh, now that the two supports have left, a uh, lone dread will definitely have a bit easier time to lane. And he could probably, uh, you know, well, it's hard to say. I mean, some people say that the Nayak should have a very easy time against the Lone Druid. Um, but every ma every time I see this matchup, it's always it's a bit of a contrary. Well, it's contrary to the wide widely held belief. Uh, because I, I see like Lone Druid can get a lot of roots, and I have seen solo kills from Lone Druid onto the Nayak. Nags does have a bit of advantage in farm. They are about even. Oh, he's going to kill the bear. He might have to resummon it. Resummon it. No, he's just body blocking the bear. Uh, he needs to resummon it. No, he just feeds away 300 gold. And he might pay with his life. Is there another slow coming up? No, just too far. He might just jump into the pop out and probably. Oh, if he'd done that, I think that would have been a solo kill. Um, but the Nags cleans up the bear. And I guess this is why they're saying Nags just gets the bear alive. So anyways, a Storm Spirit, not yet level 6. Once he gets level 6, the gank party will probably... So, back to the mid lane matchup. It's the Viper and the OD. Uh, OD actually leading at least in CS charts. Uh, Viper choosing not to go with the bottle. I think that's... if Because he didn't go... Hmm. If he had went to the bottle, he definitely could have harassed this OD a lot more. <clears throat> because, look, it's only 20 mana. Why don't you do it? Like, you can cast it. Basically, at any mo moment, even if you have like zero and or like one and zero and <clears throat> I think you still have like 110 mana. That's like five. It's still good enough. It still adds a lot of damage. Uh, look at that. You know, 56 damage for one attack, and it adds a slow and even an attack. So uh, you could have an advantage at least when it comes to CSing. Nick Sesson is hanging around. He's thinking about going to get a kill. And with all this running from the supports, they're a bit under leveled. Oh, they're going to try to go on a Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit has his ulti, though. He's trying to zip away. He's going to get it. No, he, he doesn't zip far enough. Oh, the Luna, the Lunar, the Lucent Beam is enough to get the kill. And Storm Spirit feeds away his life once again. And uh, not exactly a feed. It's more like just dying. <laughs> a feed is when you die like six times or so. I don't know what the official definition of a feed. And they're going to look to gank OD once more. Gonna get it. I mean, the supports are under leveled. We'll see if Nick Sesson will be able to get the start. Uh, Bane start being really careful about this. Lane will push soon as soon as this tower goes out. So you just gotta be a little bit, a little bit. Oh, they really want him. They're gonna zip up. They're gonna grab that Bane. Grab that Bane. Probably looking to sleep. No, he could sleep now. Yes, he does get to sleep. <clears throat> and here we go. Uh, oh, OD, OD. Does is not enough to get any kill. If there was just a single rotation, I think two heroes possibly for the radiant could have died. Uh, but there's no TPs. Oh, Spirit Breaker's here though. He might think about charging. There's that salve though. Um, so maybe not too much. Uh, Spirit Breaker will get some farm. He'll probably hit his level six from this. Uh, this would be nice. Uh, I like the fact that he rotated instantly. Even well, even if your mid dies, you're unable to get any trades. At least you get that uh, mid exp, solo exp, to help you get back into this game, get back, get some levels. Avenge on the other hand, is only level three, so not 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 doing. Not, well, at least he's not dying. <laughs> Bane has two kills under his name. Uh, he's only level four though, because it has been kind of kills you know at, with a lot of people around. So I'll go ahead and look at the gold graph, EXP graph, a dead even game in terms of EXP. A gold, 
that, that's minuscule, like right under 400 gold. That's very, very little. Very little difference. That. Um, could be even like that gold difference you see is when the Nayx accidentally killed the, or not accidentally, he actually killed the bear. It's definitely a feed. Where he, where's his bear? Where's his bear? So uh, let's look at the item progressions real quick, real quick. Quick, <laughs> real quick. Uh, the lone dread looking like he's gonna go for the Majorner. He doesn't have any boots on the bear. Maybe it's not Majorner. Maybe it's a Midas, but really late Midas. Uh, he's about if he's going for Midas, he's about four hundred gold away. Uh, he really could have missed micro with the bear. He needs to get the. I guess he's trying to get the pull. Yeah, looks like he stacked and pull it. Uh, I guess he's trying to take advantage of the jungle. The only thing is, lone droid can't really farm. All right, so now he's looking to deny XP to the next and get some farm. <laughs> While bot lane, oops, on a storm, I might look to try to gank the Luna. Oh, I said item progression, but Luna picks up the Helm Donner Dominator. She's farming extremely well. Well, two on a oh Spirit Breaker. Meanwhile, gets gets a kill on the Bane. I guess Bane was trying to ward or trying to look for a gank. This ward, oh, brilliant ward, catches him out. Yeah, he was trying to de ward, I guess. He didn't find a ward there. Instead, there's a slightly more aggressive ward over here. And this is what's scary uh, being a support and you're trying to go get, you're tr when you're trying to go uh, de ward, a spirit breaker comes out of nowhere because even even if you know there's a ward there, you, you can't de ward safely. Spirit breaker will come out of nowhere and, and then solo kill you. I don't even think it was a solo kill. I believe Ventral Spirit was there. Get the assist. This will help her get back in terms of levels. So Bane is rotating bot now. He doesn't have his level 6. He really needs it. Nyx, Nyx as well doesn't have his level 6. They're both very under level. It's, uh, it's 11 minutes in. Um, though I gotta say, I've been in, in this position. It's not easy getting a uh, farm. Is that gonna be a spirit break? Well, it's not easy getting uh, EXP as a support, especially uh, if you're roaming. <clears throat> yes, you get kills, but remember that EXP is split into 3. You need constant kills to really keep up with you know supports that are just constantly jungling taking advantage of pulling here here and here but anyways Nayx is the top farmer he's doing extremely well he's got something coming on our career uh, it might be something oh yeah there's the armlet so he's gonna go for that mid game a uh, fight now build but armlet almost is always what you want to get he doesn't he decides not to go drums he doesn't want to go for that yyf a race car build and i always say that every time there's a life stealer um and the reason why i say that so often is because i'm a huge fan of yyf oh he's gonna tp out just barely just as the charge almost got them if it had been even a half a second late he would have died the laundry red yes decides to go for the minus that's a 12 and a half minute minus probably not the fastest uh he uses it it's his levels, uh, but it will pay off sooner or later. Uh, the the game has been somewhat passive. It hasn't really been a lot of team fighting. Hasn't been a lot of ganks. Hasn't been a lot of dives. Spirit Breaker, it might be a bit in trouble, but Storm Spirit has no more mana. Maybe just zip up here, and that's about it. <laughs> He's going to go get a road. Oh, he finds a regen run. Lucky, lucky him. And this is an interesting word. Uh, I I can't say much about that. I I'm I guess it's nice because you get to see down here. But I really prefer this word over here. Uh, and you, I guess, can you see? Yeah, I guess you can see that. But this word also gives you very nice vision. <clears throat> it, it's hard to say. Yeah, you can see the entire. You can see a little bit further down. Well, anyways, <clears throat> back to the game. <laughs> I should stop worrying about words. Uh, but Odie, he might look to set up something with the Astro Imprisonment. He doesn't have any levels in the Arcane Orb quite yet, but once he does, I look for him to dish out a lot of damage. Uh, he's almost got his mechanism as well, and he's a great mech carrier. He can farm it very well and efficiently, and the Buckler, of course, can't, he can use to activate his Essence Aura, which he does have four levels of. This would be very nice. Uh, the sustainability of teamfights could definitely occur. Oh! Angel Spirit should pick up the invis, pick it up. Yes, now they're probably going to look for a kill. Viper is being really cautious. Well, that ward did expire, so I don't know if they actually saw the uh, invisibility rune. Viper needs to be really careful. I think his gaming sense is telling him that there might be a gang. Is there going to be a spot? Nope, they're not. She's not even level 6 Spirit Breaker. They look to just yellow in, yellow uh, charge, and I think they could easily get to the go. They have enough burst damage too. 
Oh, but they decide not to. Oops. Meanwhile, he's got the um, arcane boots. Probably looking to pick up um, bloodstone. Will probably disassemble the arcane boots and turn it into a bloodstone. Uh, that's normally the most efficient way. They might dive though. Maybe. No, they won't dive because it is a scarier Luna. Luna does have eclipse. So keep that in mind. TPN from the uh, bane, knowing that the. There wasn't going to be a kill there. He's almost level 6. They need to. Stun, blind, stun. No blind stun. Uh, even if he did, he would have missed. Yeah, there we go. Kind of short. Uh, both uh, both the supports are so close to level 6. I think Viper should just, you know, back off. Oh, no. They're going to go for it. But the stun is on cooldown. Never mind. There's a stun follow-up. Oh, whoa, did the stun miss? Yeah. No, he had no more mana. He had no more mana. And this is why you don't pop the mana burn first. Definitely a mistake. Spirit Breaker. Looking to go charge. Someone maybe? Storm Spirit is there. They're going to go on an OD. OD looks to be dead. Oh, he turns around trying to pop the Sanity Eclipse, but it's a bit too late. <clears throat> I, I, I don't know why. Um, maybe Light Bull will, will tell me one day. Um, so if you're watching the cast, I, I hope you comment and tell me why you use Mana Burn first. It is just level 1. Honestly, the 100 mana it costs is just not worth it. <laughs> Just, I, I kind of just use it uh, as a last ditch effort. The damage is kind of kittens. Anyways, the stun is just better. Save save the mana for the stun. Save it for Spike Carapace. Unless you have a level highly leveled mana burn. But anyways, they find a regen rune. Uh, both sides, they might make a go on it. Um, don't really need it. I think Star Spirit would definitely love it, but he's too far away. He's TPing mid. Uh, yeah, they're just going to leave it aside. Uh, the winner of the fight will probably get it <laughs> but they're looking to gank the bane bane is level six uh, thanks to the ganks nix as well nix assassin goes for a naked man of arcane boots uh, and bane goodbye it was really nice knowing you honestly oh there's attempted sleep it's just not enough at this point you might have to put wards in your own jungle because uh, be now that you're tier three towers down look for them to just you know bottle through your jungle oh okay there's actually a couple a, a huge fight in the middle. OD looks like he found the Nyx Assassin. Probably, yeah, he popped his ulti for that one. So I apologize for missing that kill. I'm out of it right now. <laughs> so OD's gonna go pick up his treads. I and I guess he just wants the HP. For now, he's not making any progress to the mech. I think that's the second time he's died. Oh, yeah, he's 1-4-0. Not doing the best. Life Stealer, meanwhile... Uh, I wonder what he's been doing. Farming and yeah, it looks like he's going to decide the fight now. Wow, he's already picked up a Hyperstone. This is already a very scary life. So 17 minutes in. I think they're looking forward to an AX Bomb. It doesn't even have to zip very far. We'll definitely get like a kill. Spirit Breaker will die easily. Uh, Eventual Spirit will die easily. Okay, Spirit Breaker not so easily. He's quite tanky. Treads and earn 1200, almost 1300 HP. OD, going back in. Uh, needs to be careful. Storm Spirit here. I uh, see. Are they going to try to dive this? There's four here. There's no way the the dire side will try to approach this. Andred. He doesn't add too much in fights currently. He's got seven hundred nine gold. The sort of minus is paying off just a tidbit. I think it's time for me to move to net worth. And I think there's going to be a huge engagement mid. Uh, much of the game will be decided on it. Luna is also farming decently. Uh, is she stacking the ancient? Yes, she is. Oh. Maybe she's stacking the Ancients, I can't tell. You have that little creep. Yep, there's a little creep looking to go stack up. Though it's a bit far, probably doesn't need to be that far. Uh, and Life Slayer has stayed in there a long time. They're going to zip it. They got the Fiend's Grip on a Luna. Luna can't pop the Eclipse. Oh, nice Astro and Prisman. Oh, there's a charge. Hits through. It's going to be a bash. Instantly kills the Storm Spirit. Luna, uh, she somehow gets moved backward. Uh, but Vengeful Spirit and Luna will die. OD, oh, nice sleep. Just keeping them out of the fight. Oh, they take the sleep off, though. Trying to juggle it a little bit. Buyback from the Vengeful Spirit. OD goes down. Uh, Vengeful Spirit, they're really looking to get that kill. But that TP is so long. They need to get a kill. Oh, what's Bane doing? I'm not sure. He gets stunned already. He didn't even have a sleep. Uh, but, you know, Bear, he wants to get that entangled. What's that entangled? But they're not going to go for it. Great fight for Hang and Bang. Uh, they, uh, I think the fast bomb did help up a bit. Storm just wasn't able. I mean, he died quickly, but in return to get uh, three kills. Avenge, Od, and Luna. Those are very core heroes. Oh, Lone Dread, of course, didn't die, but you know, again, he, he just doesn't add too much quite yet. You can get kited still. 
Well, just brown boots for the bear. No, no boots for the bear. I don't know if I agree with it. I at least like to see boots on. Just helps them with the chasing power. Uh, 437 boots speed is good, but having boots is better, right? <laughs> So they're working on the tower. This tower will go down. There won't be any contestant. Eclipse was used. So let's see what happens. Did they stack? Stack the see if she stack. Okay, no stack. So they did they don't stack it. Um and it, it's hard to remember too. Uh, Luna is farming. You don't want to miss less hits when you're stacking. Uh still it is worth it. Oh for the invis Nyx. Nyx bomb. Nicer is basically dedicating himself to fighting. Now here's a zip and OD gets caught out once again. He does have sanity eclipse. He's gonna try to pop it. He does pop the eclipse. It does nothing though. Uh Nyx does die though. OD is uh, is is dead, so it's a better trade for Hanging Bane. Lifeser going going to town on the bear, trying to man fight the bear. Both the hero and the bear will go down. A spirit breaker is slept. Great sleep. Luna is also in trouble now. Uh they're, I think they're just gonna kill him. A spirit breaker trying to get a couple lucky bashes. It's just not gonna work out. Right, more right clicks and Hiana does die and you're right Hulk this uh, storm spirit is a is a man looking to go for orchid and orchid is a is a great item for him uh, you can it's, you can make sure eclipses go off you can kill the OT very quickly as if he's not dying already and his bad start is just ugh, not doing too much for him if he had the mech these fights could be very very different a level one arcane just doesn't do too much for you so another one for three trade and this time luna goes down uh, 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 the lone droid goes down and the luna dies as well and yes she's trying to get the bkb up once they get the bkb up uh, these fights will be much easier for them i said once but that's if they can get it up uh these this constant pressure on the map is making them very scared it's, it's hard for them to, to farm safely uh spirit breaker he's gonna charge who's who's he got charged oh he can kill the storm storm I think he'll, he'll get out just fine. He's gonna cancel that charge. There we go. DD run over here. I might have just used that as a chance to get down mid. In case Storm Spirit gets a bit greedy. And somehow this is working out. <laughs> it's working out beautifully for this this uh, Storm Spirit who started off against Rylane. Is now level 11. <clears throat> Isn't that worth it? Still low, but the, I guess that's to be expected. In terms of hero level, he's up there. Yeah, level 11. Fourth highest, tied for fourth highest, uh, tied with the OD man. Oh, he zips in, going on an OD. OD looks to be dead for sure. He still can't get the mech up. I feel so sorry for him. He's delaying his uh, inevitable death. There goes. Trying to zip, trying to get out. It doesn't matter. Uh, Spirit breaker. Meanwhile, also dies. Life stealer. It's too scary. And then the chase continues. Storm Spirit will get picked off. Yes, another slow, another stun. Easy, easy pickings. And the bear gets up. Easy 300 gold if they want to go for it. Nope. Instead, it looks like they're just going to push the tower. So back to net worth. So Life Sealer at 9,000. Uh, he can pick up. What's he got? Does he have an AC quite yet? Uh, almost, almost, almost. He only has 500 gold to go. And he gets a tower. Easy. Uh, they will charge him though. I don't know if it's the right idea. It'll be very hard to get that kill on him. He could just rage. Well, the, the bright side is they can bash. Uh, they can bash though and possibly get entangled. They're going to rely on RNGG in this case. So, yes, there's an ancient stack. Will they? Yep. The ancients. Uh, Luna hasn't been able to farm it. Luna, does she have damage? Um, 78 plus 48. Not too shabby. Three levels in glaives. I think she can take it. With Storm Spirit, oh, they're gonna steal it. The only problem is they don't have any good ways of killing it. Life Sailor, even Life Sailor, when he tries to take it up, just oh, they will find the life. The the Luna once again, Luna gets picked off, and the rotations from Hanging Bing has just been much better. Obama's arms, yes, uh, Spirit Breaker can can come out of nowhere, but it's not quite. Uh, he doesn't have any backup. Uh, maybe he can solo kill the Bane. Uh, he can't solo kill the Nyx, in my opinion, because of the Spike Carapace. Oh my gosh! Nyx Assassin picks up the Blink Dagger. Next, another level of, of initiation. At the Fiend's Grip, you have the Nyx Assassin Blink and Pell Stun. Of course, you have the Nyx Bomb from Jungle. He's recovered very, very well, finding kills all over the map for them. Those. <sighs> Star Spirit, looking to finish up the Orchid like I said earlier. Uh, he's got, he actually buys the recipe first, but before finishing up uh, his second or second 
Oblivion stuff. Charge going out on the Viper, but I don't know if they really want to go on this. Uh, Mech is finally, finally done 24 minutes in, and he was so close, so he just, I said, oh my gosh, this Viper is so tanky. They will be able to kill him, maybe. Insanity Eclipse was used, and <laughs> Spirit Breaker already dies. Viper does die. Life Stealer manning up on everybody. He should, he could change targets. He might be in trouble. No, he jumps into a creep, and he will get out just fine. I think he should let the creep stop. Oh, Storm Spirit's here. Is there going to be a Fiend's Grip? He's too far away. I think, no, he has the Fiend's Grip on Lone Droid. Lone Droid takes a stutter step backwards, and he, he will pay with his life. Oh, no, the stun for Vengeful Spirit. Actually, they bring down the Storm Spirit. He's so squishy. He doesn't even have any HP. Eclipse goes out, and uh, there's some self-disruption, I think. No, it's offensive disruption. Trying to keep AX away. Oh, it might have been a mistake. Oh, no, he's going to go to town on the Vengeful Spirit. Life Stealer just doesn't give a crap. And easy, easy kills for him. Oh, OD does have a, a defensive disruption if he needs it. I think Mech was popped there as well. And, oh, Luna dies a second time. No. Buy back for that? I can't remember. Anyways, I, Life Stealer, he's just too big at this moment. He's got his AC. He's just going to go to town. Uh, the he, No, don't feed your bear. The bear is just he's going for Radiance. But, yeah, don't feed your bear because uh, Life Stealer, you know how his uh, beast works. But, yeah, this is, this is good. Quite, quite big. 2,700 HP. Easy. Easy, easy, free life for Life Stealer. Uh, so OD, yes, he's looking to go for that uh, four staff, but man, he's so poor. He got ganked so, so much. Uh, they just did not have enough wards out of the maps. Do anything. Though I think two of them were smoke ganks, anyways. And uh, you know, uh, once the Storm Spirit hit level six, he started really going, started really going for the kills. <clears throat> I'm oh, sorry, I might be too far away from my mic, uh, so you might have uh, missed out on a lot of what I was saying. So I apologize for that. I might have faded out too much. Uh, so let me try to scoot myself a bit closer. And hopefully you don't miss anything too much in client. Of course, it is recorded from uh, OBS. I, I believe OBS should be able to pick up everything I say. Um, so I have to apologize for the technical difficulties. So now Luna, Luna will be looking to get her BKB up. She's very well, relatively close to it. She's looking for that Mithril Hammer. I think once this Ancient Stack is away, she'll be halfway through that recipe and have a Mithril Hammer. Or step up on the Bane. Uh, just again, the initiation for Hanging Bane is absolutely ridiculous. Viper gets a pick off on the Spirit Breaker. A uh, Spirit Breaker, was he trying to ward? Or D ward? He just gets killed. Courier. Courier. Viper. We'll steal some of that stack. That's what, that will be kind of an annoyance for the, this Luna. Six assassin. Then dead it up. He does have the blink dagger, of course. And I think Twinsel Spirit is very dead. No. Can't decide where to go. It's not easy. You don't really know where they are. There are two heroes top. Venge. Oh, Nix Assassin really wants him. He still has plenty of time. They're going to go on Adventure Spirit. Goodbye, Venge. It, it was really nice knowing you. And is it a Fiend's Grip? Fiend's Grip on the bear, yeah. Uh, Storm Spirit is going to go back to... And he doesn't have any HP. It doesn't matter because there was a nice sleep going out. Oh, they're going to chase the Storm. Sp storm, nope, he'll, he'll survive. Nice impel. They're just fighting Pickoff everywhere. <clears throat> it's been a really long time since I've seen Michelle Obama's arms uh, get a kill. Life Stealer, man, he's going to go for that Basher. And he's so fat. Uh, I'm afraid to look at the golden EXP graph, but I will anyways. <clears throat> uh, so on the EXP, it's uh, 12,000 in favor of um, Hang and Bang for gold. Over 10,000. Um, so. <clears throat> so how do you get back into this game? It's really hard to say. They, they can't split up. They have that aura. They have the push strap, but they just can't fight five, man. Um, the, the levels, the items... Um, for Hanging Bane are just on another level. They get the last outer, well, second to last outer tower of the game. Uh, probably, yep, they're pinging the Dogo bot lane. Push out just a little bit, maybe to their, to their, to pressure to tier 3, and then just rotate bot. They do have a very nice ward here, in case there might be a wraparound. Preferably, they could have a ward here. I've seen that before. I, I personally don't use it that much. It's okay. They might look for a Roshan <clears throat> attempt. Uh, they can't kill him. Um, Life Stealer is just so fat right now. Uh, he has finished his Basher. Um, just waiting for the Courier to go pick it up from. And now the Dire, they're absolutely terrified. 
they they just can't go by themselves. And they're gonna make a go on the storm spirit. That's not the right target. It's a it's a nice thought. Regen room for the storm. Zip zip around. Zip zip zip. Let's see if he can make any awesome plays. I'll go ahead and leave my portrait on him. Maybe. You're not gonna go man mode on this. Zip. Zip. Oh, gotten things out. Might leave a revenant. Zip. <laughs> It's absolutely fun seeing uh, Storm Spirit, you know, just play around with the regen room. And all they actually get the kill on the Spirit Breaker. All oh, no, this initiation is just next level. It's just so much. They can't run away. You, oh, Eclipse even used on here, but it just doesn't matter. They're just too strong. It's going to be a team wipe before you know it. OD is there. He hasn't popped his ulti, but it won't matter. Uh, GG might get called after this. There we go. Final kill. That's a, that's a team wipe for uh, Hang and Bang. Michelle Obama's arm is just starving now. Uh, they're under leveled, they're under farmed. And uh, they're going to lose their tier 3 at least. And they can just continue going on for the racks. They're, they're not too reliant on their ulti. They, they of course can steal the, the Naix and Fest bomb with the Storm Spirit. So tier 3 goes down. Uh, yes, they're going to go for the racks. Try, try to force the GG out. Uh, force a sub 35 minute GG. <clears throat> Range racks on the bottom. Goes down and no, they said, "Yep, yeah, go for go for the second racks. Why not?" <clears throat> and so it looks like Michelle Obama's arms. Maybe they want just one more fight. Maybe get a kill because they just haven't gotten kills in a, in a really long time. When was the last time they got a kill? Wow, back back at uh, when OD picked off the Nyx assassin. But here we go. They don't have any of their ultis, of course. Oh no, OD still does, but you know, just and there's a swap in Viper. Might get out. Actually, Viper might die. Uh, no, not not lucky with the RNGG. Oh, disconnection uh, from the Storm Spirit. <clears throat> but Vengeful still die. They will actually. It's the Radiant that are dying without the Storm Spirit. The game suddenly got really hard for them. Life Stealer has to infest an enemy creep and will probably uh, ride it all the way back to his base, unless they just let the creep uh, die a little bit. Though the Radiance will not help that. <clears throat> A uh, nice disruption. Uh, they will find the bane. A three for two trade somehow, but uh, there was that disconnection. They might pause that, <clears throat> and uh, I I think they might have to pause. Will they pause this? Uh, no, they they choose to continue to play on. Uh, either that, or they just don't notice that he's not there, or or they just don't care. And uh, oh, bash on the spirit breaker. He just, he gets fully healed up. He's gonna go on the creeps. He just can't get close enough. He really wants to. So <laughs> he kills the spirit breaker right there. Armlet toggling like a boss, and then another bash. Od will die here. He doesn't have astral imprisonment, and uh, this is what I'm saying. Life Stealer, really, really scary. Uh, blink, but blink with no mana, no stun. <clears throat> BKB off on the Life Stealer. I actually really love seeing this item on him. Now he's like unkillable. Not only do you have uh, the rage lasting six seconds. On top of that, you have a 10 second BKB, <clears throat> and that's 16 seconds where your magical damage is just nothing. Absolutely nothing. You can't stun him. Spirit Breaker can't anyways. OD can't kill him. Uh, Luna Eclipse won't do too much. Luna Lucent Beam won't do anything either. Uh, at least Luna will be able to right click him. But Luna, man, she's still working on that BKB. She's got nothing. <clears throat> and so they're just waiting for... Um, oops, to reconnect, and he is an integral part of that <clears throat> of of the team fight. Uh, again, he was the pacemaker, even though he was on bot lane against a tri lane. He, he's the pacemaker of this team. Uh, so, oops, still just standing around. And I'll go ahead and check the graph just a little bit. And uh, at least uh, Michelle Obama's arm has kind of stopped the bleeding. But that might be because, um, you know, Storm Spirit DC. Roshan's still up. I'm surprised neither team has really attempted it. I'm, I'm particularly surprised that Hang and Bang hasn't. Uh, they, do, they do have um, the aura from the Soul Kiras. Heck, I think Lifestealer can solo him. A couple lucky bashes will be enough. Uh, I think for him, he's probably going to drop either the Stick or the Stout Shield. No, he's going to drop them both because he wants to make room for the uh, TP scroll. Uh, once he has the TP scroll, probably looking to upgrade this Skull Basher into Abyssal. Once he has the Abyssal, uh, I, I just don't know what they can do. Um, <clears throat> already, uh, Luna is just so easy to focus fire. She's so close in the front lines, and she's so squishy. She doesn't even have BKB. She can't just man up. Uh, the Life Seal is nice. She doesn't even try to bring Abyssalus. Uh, they they've only gotten one tower. They have that Aura Push Strap. 
but they only got one tower. A uh, lone droid has his radiance. Uh, the radiance again on the lone droid has has been seen a bit, um, but. The reason why you have it is because you know a hero could farm bots and then you can have the bear over here and he just sits there and pushes the lane and it's kind of like that split pushing um it, no it is a split pushing lineup uh, though unfortunately it, it's not been going into their favor uh hanging bang has forced the fights and uh, michelle obama's arms needed just a little bit more time before they were ready to five man push so either way well played um by hanging bang <clears throat> Still, uh, there might be a DC, and that and that could change. Uh, that's always the worst case. They might they might have to go four v five. Uh, if they do, I think I think Hangbangs could still take this game. Uh, it will get significantly harder without the Storm Spirit because he is uh, a significant source of that damage. One sixteen plus thirty, and of course you have the zip 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 uh, static remnant pulls. Uh, I mean, you're just missing so much when Storm Spirit is not there. Uh, and there's an ask on the status. So, uh, I'm chatting with him on the Steam app right now. So I guess he's able to get on Steam. Dodo, Dodo might just be down. No, he's able to reconnect. That's beautiful. So the game will continue. Uh, luckily, there's no handicap. And welcome back. Very nice guys. Um, if I could, I'd commend him. Can I? Amend player. No, I can't commend them. I'm not in the game. I'm just a caster. <clears throat> so, anyways, uh, Luna just wants her PKP so badly. It's a naked set, naked set of racks. Racks already down to half health. They might sneak a Roshan. I mean, internal envy talked about this uh, one, uh, in his interview that he did recently. If you're behind, I mean, take a huge risk. I mean, you're going to lose the game anyways. I hate to say that, um, but you know, take a big risk. You know, smoke up here, go for the Roshan. I think they have the damage to take them out. I don't, the Radiant may not, may or may not be a suspecting it. Uh, if you take the Roshan, that will give you legs up in a fight. You get the Aegis. It's basically another hero. Well, I mean, if they they wipe the rest of your hero and it takes uh, Luna forever to like respawn, and then, and then it just won't matter. But still, I mean, you get gold, you get EXP. Uh, and they might be doing that though. This ward catches them out. It's it's a wonderful ward. Uh, <clears throat> almost in any circumstances, especially if you're trying to rush or protecting Roche Roche against against the dire. Oh, spirit breaker! I think he's dead. It's infested Nyx. Oh, very very dead. <laughs> yeah, it's a YOLO, uh, and it is a YOLO BKB. So shout out to you, Jonah, and I'm looking forward to playing your team tomorrow. Uh, so tomorrow we scheduled a Smurf all day versus Propane matchup. Uh, Propane will probably stomp the crap out of us. But we will try to kill Jonah as much as possible before that happens. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's the Radiant. They're going to finish up Roshan. And it, it's a death ball down mid. Nyx doesn't even have room. Drop the TP. Be a man. What? Yeah, he sold the TP instead. I, I personally just drop it. And you can always run back if you want that TP scroll. Aegis on him. And he's just going to go. He's going to go to town. Remember, it's a 10 second BKB. He's got 16 seconds of invulnerability. I, I think it's going to be impossible to bring him down. You got to kill him twice too. Keep that in mind. And, and by the time you kill him once, the Aegis goes down, his rage will be back on. <laughs> so, I, I, heck, he can just turn on BKB and just go to town on this tower. And just make sure like uh, the Spirit Breaker doesn't lock you down. Though Bane is closely behind him to protect him. Very easy, easy Rex. Oh, Glyph is up there. So maybe not so easy. Disruption on the life stealer. They might be able to kill him. Is there going to be swapped? They swap in the bane. They're going to try to concentrate on him. That might be the right idea because you're not going to kill the life stealer. Life stealer picks up the vengeful spirit. Storm zips in, trying to concentrate. No, he's trying to zip out. Eclipse going out. Oh, it's a DD next assassin. Oh, the spike carabas kills him. Uh, Radiance. Oh no, this life stealer just killing the lone druid. Fear breaker trying to make an escape. It's just not enough. Two supports down for the radiant. Uh, the bear is just being fed away. Not not the proper micro micro. And. Second set of Rex will go down. OD is there. He does have his ulti. Uh, Mech wasn't even popped. Wow, Mech was not even popped. Uh, I think a misplay, um, though I, it probably wouldn't have mattered. Did OD buy back for that? I think he died to begin with. Uh, but anyways, nice to... S Ooh, no, I think they're just going to dive him. It's a Mantis top for this Viper. Easy, easy dive. Uh, Force off was used. Didn't even use the Mech once again. Oh, no, wait. Wrong guy. Yeah, he did use the Mech. 
And there's the GG well played. It is definitely well played by Hang and Bang. Uh, Mich uh, Michelle Obama's uh, arms, their their strategy was well thought. Uh, but but the fight now, Hang and Bang crew was, you know, they did they, they executed their plan just a little bit better. In the end, they get the game one win. Uh, so congratulations to them and uh, uh, MOA. They have a second chance uh, to get another one and break even. Grab that extra point in the group stage. And uh, I hope you guys join me for game two.